So hi everybody, I'm Ray from Sometimes Foodie, and I'm back again with my sister Amanda. Hello! And this is probably our last video of the night, so yes. no more pizza shirt. Nope, buy a pizza shirt. So I actually bought these at the Asian Food Market, I think, or H Mart, I can't remember. But as a thank you to my sister for eating gross jelly beans and blueberry mentholated Oreos. And all the other horrible <laughs> things that I've been subjected to. I got her something that combines two things that she loves, almonds and matcha green tea. So we have almond matcha. So their almonds have been coated in a white chocolate confection mixed with green tea, and it looks like they've been dusted with a matcha powder, according to the picture here. Mm -hmm. So since I got this for you, I'm going to let you do the honors of opening it. Alright. So I don't really like matcha. I got this just for her because she does like matcha. That's a little squished. So they're individually wrapped, which is not what I was expecting. I thought that they were going to be like loose too. inside like the tub. Yeah, I, th I, you know, shaking it around, I didn't hear them banging around in there. Almonds are pretty heavy, but, I mean, you know, with almonds you'd expect it to be, like, heavier than yeah. the way that it feels, but it explains they're individually wrapped or kind of cushioned against each other, snuggled up in there. You don't get as many <laughs> as I thought you would because they're individually no. wrapped. There's like, no, there's, like, maybe a dozen yeah, at most like in here. Yeah, 12 in there, maybe. But so the wrapping is made of plastic, cute. shiny plastic with little green checkers, my yeah. favorite color. <laughs> this is just like all Amanda's favorite things. It's all gotta... about me. If you could like fit a tiny little horse in there, it'd be perfect. <laughs> <laughs> she has a horse. I don't think we've yeah. ever mentioned that no. on camera, but He's my sister is a horse. He's great, by the rider. way. I love him. <laughs> so we'll give this a try. So I'm going to unwrap it. Ooh. Looks like Eat. these got melted and yeah. re-solidified because they kind of turned into a little yeah. shrapnel geodes. Yeah, it doesn't really look super good. I, got, I like, can see this half over here. Me. I feel like it was supposed to look more like that. Yeah. And then this half's like it's the melted part. Yee. So we live in New Jersey. This is a product of Japan. So this was not made in New Jersey, obviously. Clearly. <laughs> so the downside of being in New Jersey and buying things at the Asian grocery stores like H Mart or the Asian food market is they are shipped in and they're usually older. So the products that didn't sell will wherever they were originally being sold mm -hmm. at and they're countries of origin and they usually end up coming here to the Americanized store is where we buy them up mm -hmm. because I'm a food blogger and I will buy the wacky stuff. Mm -hmm. So this has been on quite the journey. It probably wasn't temperature controlled and to make matters worse I kind of bought these like two months ago and never got around to reviewing them so who knows when they melted but it looks like they melted and re-solidified. They look kind of cool though. It looks like a little dinosaur egg like maybe <laughs> something's gonna hatch out of here. I don't know. <laughs> Doesn't really smell like much. Just kind of smells sweet. Yeah, it, it smells a lot like a lot of the other matcha candies that I've had that are like white chocolate matcha. Like, it's got mostly the white chocolate scent to it. Are you ready? All right. All right. Mm. I like it. Mm -mm. The coating on the outside reminds me a lot of the coating from the matcha Kit Kats. That's, you know, it's the typical green tea, like white either. chocolate sweet taste to it. And I really like that. I like the Kit Kats a little bit better than this. I love the matcha Kit Kats, but this is still good. I enjoy this. I've had some really terrible matcha candies before. This is just like really grassy to me, which is why I don't like green tea. I don't like matcha. I don't like the matcha Kit Kats. It always tastes earthy and grassy, and that's not my that's not my bag. That's not what I'm into. I like black tea. If, I'm, if we're going for teas, I usually drink black tea. I like black tea better, but... I do like matcha. I like the kind of like dry taste that it has to it, the it way does. it makes your mouth feel. And I like that. I actually don't like regular green tea. I think it's disgusting. I just don't like it. But matcha I do like, especially like in a latte, something like that. But uh, matcha candy I'm all about. <laughs> and this is a good one. This one's pretty good. It's good for what it is, but I just don't like matcha. That's just... Uh, the almond's great. I like the almond. It adds a nice crunch, but... I love almonds. Almonds are wonderful. This <laughs> tastes like dry grass powder on white chocolate and almond to me and I'm not no, I'm not feeling it's that. It's good. I like it. <laughs> so that was almond matcha. So if you like matcha give it a try. Yeah. It's a nice little candy. Yeah. I would say I'd recommend it. Hopefully you don't get a melted one like we did. I mean it no. doesn't hurt the candy. It just looks a lot less appealing. Yeah it looks like some sort of little swamp baby. A little baby swamp egg. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it for today's video and we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye!